does negative acceleration always mean retardation what do we understand from retardation retardation means decrease in the speed and we always associate the decrease of the speed with the negative sign of the acceleration most of the time but i will prove today that negative acceleration can also cause increase in the speed let us see the next slide look at here four figures in the first two figures the velocity of the car is in the right o direction you can assume right o direction as positive so the velocity in the first two cases is positive we can assume left o direction as negative so velocity of the car in the last two figures is negative so plus plus minus minus are the sign of velocities you see velocity is a vector vector has a direction and in one dimensional motion we have only two directions either rightwards or leftwards so you can as you can use only two symbols plus and minus to represent the directions so let us suppose right o direction is positive and left direction is negative hence we have these signs associated with the velocity now what about acceleration you see here in these four figures i am assuming that in the first case acceleration is acting in the same direction of velocity that means positive acceleration in the second case acceleration is acting opposite to direction of velocity so negative sign i mean to say here acceleration is leftwards so that's why negative sign in the third figure acceleration is acting rightwards so right to direction is positive so acceleration is positive here and the fourth case acceleration is acting leftwards so acceleration is negative so we have given here plus and minus signs to velocities and acceleration also you can see whichever vector is in the right o direction is given positive sign and whichever vector is in the left o direction is given negative sign now how do we conclude that whether the speed will increase or decrease in all these cases in order to understand it more properly let us know that acceleration is caused by the force acting on the car or the force acting on the particle when we say in the first figure that the acceleration of the car is in the right o direction it actually means a force must be acting on it in the right o direction in the second figure when acceleration is acting in the left o direction that means a force must be acting in the left o direction this is according to newton's second law newton's second law says that the direction of acceleration must be in the direction of the net force similarly in the third figure acceleration is rightwards so a force must be acting on it in the right o direction and lastly the force must be in the left o direction to create an acceleration in the left direction now it is very easy to see that when the force is pushing the car in the same direction of its motion then definitely the speed must increase and when the force is acting opposite to the direction of motion then definitely this force is opposing the motion it will cause the reduction of the speed therefore speed will decrease now look at the third and fourth figures we see some new amazing things here in the third figure we see that the force is acting in the positive direction therefore acceleration is also acting in the positive direction so acceleration is positive but the velocity is negative so actually the force is acting opposite to the direction of motion the force is trying to oppose the motion of this car therefore the speed will decrease and in the last case we see that the force is acting in the direction of motion it is supporting the motion so the speed must increase now observe carefully here the positive acceleration here is causing the decrease in the speed that means retardation is happening here and a negative acceleration is causing the increase of the speed which is contrary to the first two cases mostly we believe that when acceleration is positive then speed increases and when acceleration is negative then the speed decreases but these two things are true only if the velocity is in the positive direction if the velocity is in the negative direction then the rule completely gets oppositely changed so as you can see that according to the popular belief negative acceleration must cause the retardation or decrease in the speed but you see here that in this case positive acceleration is causing the decrease of speed and also negative acceleration is causing the increase of the speed 
therefore even these two cases are possible that means because when the velocity is negative or in, in other words we can say that only by looking at the sign of acceleration we cannot predict whether the speed will increase or decrease as you can see that something opposite is happening here therefore if you want to tell whether the speed will increase or decrease you must know the information of both acceleration and velocity then only we can conclude the answer so the best way to see it is that whenever acceleration is given you think in your mind that a force is acting in the same direction of acceleration even here also force acts in the same direction of acceleration or truly speaking acceleration acts in the same direction of the force and then it is very easy to see that whenever you apply the force in the same direction of velocity speed increases and when you apply the force opposite to the direction of velocity the speed decreases hence we now conclude when acceleration and velocity vectors are in the same direction then speed increases let's go back to the previous page and see that when you see the first case when velocity and acceleration both are positive then the speed increases and here last case when again velocity and acceleration both are in the same direction that means both are negative both of them in the left direction both negative speed increases and when velocity and acceleration are opposite to each other plus and minus or minus and plus then the speed decreases so it is very easy to summarize now that whenever velocity and acceleration have same sign plus plus and minus minus speed will increase and whenever velocity and acceleration have opposite signs plus and minus or minus and plus then the speed will decrease so when acceleration and velocity vectors are in the same direction that means they have same sign plus plus or minus minus then the speed will increase and when the acceleration and velocity vectors are in the opposite directions that means one of them is positive other is negative then speed decreases thus negative acceleration can also increase the speed if velocity is also negative therefore we must now conclude that negative acceleration always doesn't mean reduction of speed sometimes it can also cause the increase of speed and for that i recommend that you kindly follow this chart you have to memorize this chart with this plus sign and minus sign then you can easily conclude whether the speed will increase or decrease so i hope that you have liked these concepts and video so you can like my channel the physicsguru.com and you can subscribe to it thank you for watching it any questions any doubts kindly write down in the comments and ask me thank you